Welcome back everybody, an impromptu dinner here at our house. You wonder what I've been up to while well, I've been filming videos like crazy. I think seven videos or so filmed in the last two weeks for Blackstone. So follow me, make sure you're following us at blackstoneproducts.com and of course Facebook, YouTube and all that stuff. See, Blackstone sales are exploding and it literally is my dream job. Of course, this YouTube channel is what led to that dream job. But the cool thing is one hand washes the other because here I am still filming on my YouTube channel and telling you to get on over there to where I do my real job which is the same thing as I do here on my channel griddling you can see this is my setup right here in the backyard of course we have the new white tent and I've been filming lots of videos here just did a Independence Day pancake video mm -hmm. you want to stay tuned for that all kinds of new stuff Blackstone decided to make a Teespring shirt site see Blackstone has a big team of graphic designers now they're always pumping out new designs and Blackstone can't possibly make one for every new design so here's one of the new ones up on the new Teespring site and I'll put the link down below if you want to pick up some of that what else is new I tell you what else these just hit the store this week Blackstone's new Parmesan Ranch. This is great on potatoes and all that kind of stuff. And Blackstone's new cheesesteak seasoning. I don't think I'm going to be using either of these tonight, but I wanted to show them to you. And that literally is just the tip of the iceberg. The contractors just came yesterday and did the pour over and the new stamp on our patio. The sun's going down, but check it out. That's the brand new patio. Also due in part to the fact that those mistakes were made earlier. You can go watch my live videos if you want to hear about that. We also have like the heaviest, most formidable patio in the world and the contractors will probably be out in another week or so to dye this and to seal it up we just got a huge rainstorm as you can see no problem since i restained the deck so lots of things going on but let's get into it just as <laughs> lots going on so let's get into it just as an impromptu dinner gonna make some chili some chili dogs and we're gonna throw some french fries and onion rings in the air fryer So Blackstone Air Fryer Combo, this came out back in January. Um, the number one brand new uh, premium outdoor cooking appliance in the country right now. Walmart can barely keep these things in stock. You know, and production has been increased tenfold. Shipping, everything is still working, but the sales are literally through the roof. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you. <laughs> if I told you, I'd be fired. <laughs> how many of these we're selling and how good sales are right now. So remember, there's about 5,000 Walmarts. If you can't find one at yours, you might have to drive a little bit. We can't guarantee you know, that you're gonna have one at the Walmart that's right beside your house. I actually have my griddle top on low. You know, this unit and also the 36 inch Pro Series burn way hotter than the average griddle. So a little bit of oil down there. It's a mixture of uh, canola, olive oil, garlic, Fresh garlic, followed by diced onion. I'm gonna put a lot of onion in there because uh, we're making a little batch of chili. And of course, I am the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter. When I originally started on YouTube, that was my moniker. I still am the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter. There'll never be another one. So this is ground elk from last year's elk. This year, if you have any hunters out there this year, I'll be uh, going muzzle loading hunting uh, here in Colorado. So that'll be mid-September, so stay tuned for that, Lord willing. There we go, there goes my ground elk. This is semi-frozen ground elk. Took it out of the freezer a while ago. So we'll call this real-time light. I'll still move the camera around, but I won't, I'll try not to bore you with 10 minutes of the same uh, shot. Since I like to keep things fresh here on the channel, just pull this out of the pantry, Alpine Touch. Basically a garlic, onion, uh, pepper, salt mixture use this quite a bit we get it when we go on vacation in montana of course you can oil that as much as you need to wild games very lean you know i add 10 percent bacon and 10 percent beef fat to my ground wild game but you still need to add some fat in there some oil i grabbed a cast iron skillet out of the kitchen by the way if you go back into blackstone's archives I uh, was up filming a video in Montana with Chef Nathan Lippy a couple years ago and fried fish up in this very skillet. Check that out. All right, so straight down on the griddle top. 
and got a little, uh, this is great value, so it's the generic brand of chili sauce. Be my base for the chili. And I do get an extremely high amount of people that ask me if they can put skillets on their griddle top. You sure can. I'm doing it right here. Yeah, totally safe. You're not going to hurt your griddle top. So put a skillet on there if you want to. And I'll slide this down to one end right here in the corner. I'm not looking to make a southwestern chili here. This is probably going to be more along the lines of a modified coney sauce. So just a little garlic and pepper in there. But one thing I am going to do a little different today. I love these candied jalapenos. Pick these up at Trader Joe's the other day, but you can get them at any store. Oh man, it's basically you know a candied jalapeno. We're talking about uh, ooh, baby, a little sugar in there. So I'm going to throw some of those in there, and especially some of that juice. There we go. I'll put a few of those in there as well, but we'll top some off later. Mm, that's going to be good. And we'll stir that up. Give that a few minutes to start simmering. Now I'll come back over here and attend to my ground elk. Uh, if you have beef, it could be beef, it could be turkey, you get the point. So any kind of ground meat. But for chili, you know, if you want that flavor, um, you know, maybe a really fatty ground beef would work. That looks right and nice, doesn't it? Mm, that looks good, baby. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, baby. I can smell the sugar and those jalapenos. And I tell you what, I want to attack this elk meat right now. Garlic, onion, and ground elk ready to go into the chili. Mm. See if that's enough or if I need a little more. Oh, man. That looks good. I'm going to go with the a picture is worth a thousand words saying on this one. Wow. And I also can't resist it. <laughs> I need to get one of those jalapenos and get in there and try that out. Mm. Oh, baby, that's going to be good. It smells sweet. It smells so good. Oh, baby. Oh, candied jalapenos. Oh. <laughs> Since day one, seven and a half years ago, the number one question has always been, how do you clean the griddle? Use one of these putty knife style scrapers. And if your griddle is properly seasoned, just a light scrape like this. Get all that meat and onion residue off the griddle top. Into the rear grease management system. Anybody remember those videos from a couple years ago when Blackstone came out with the rear grease management system? And me and uh, a guy named Joseph Shaw who came over to our tent, started singing rear grease management system. Shout out to Joseph Shaw if you're watching tonight, brother. There we go. Wiped it off. I forgot talking. <laughs> I forgot and kept talking. So I wiped it off. Let me turn this light on here. There we go. And uh, grab my oil bottle again, just a mixture of olive and canola. Uh, there we go. Some paper towels or blue shop rags, cotton rag, whatever you want to use, whatever works for you. I promised you chili dogs, and there we go. Pick these up at Walmart tonight. Ballparks, Angus, you know the deal. No nitrates, no preservatives, all that stuff. There's always good things happening in uh, hot dog world over the last couple of years. So, Ballparks new Angus hot dogs. They came out with these a couple of years ago. Let's go down with the hot dogs, the Frank footers, the Franks, the wieners. There we go. Mm. There we go. How many of these am I going to need tonight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some people get really mad when I touch my food, but hey, I'm cooking here for my family. And uh, <laughs> my family doesn't care if we touch the food around here. So there we go. That should be a. Yeah, let's put another one in there. Enough for the family. And if you've been following me all these years, you know I like to season up my wieners, my hot dogs with a little something something. Blackstone Steakhouse seasoning. And a good set of tongs is going to be your tool of choice when you're doing hot dogs because you're going to be able to roll these things just like that. It'll be like a modified convenience store hot dog roller when you have a set of tongs. 
one of the many appealing features of the 36 inch griddle is for heat zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that left zone and this one all the way off. I'm on low, low and off, but there is plenty of heat on that griddle plate. Just gonna keep turning those hot dogs, those wieners, Frank footers, Franks, whatever you call them, until they're done. We always just called them hot dogs growing up, so that's what I call them. Just like pop, we called it pop, we didn't call it soda, and we didn't call it soda pop, we called it pop. There we go, see look at that, that is gorgeous. Can you see that right there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, mm. hot dogs glistening on the griddle on a beautiful Colorado front range evening. Yikes, I almost forgot. <laughs> so I uh, got some french fries. We have some crinkle cut fries. I'll pick these up when I'm at the grocery store and throw them in the freezer. So I have some crinkle cut fries and we have some onion rings. My air fryer's on medium heat. Blackstone's the nonstick cooking spray in there. And we'll put some onion rings. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, right there, some onion. Ah, let's bring this up here. Let's slide these around. There we go, there's my air fryer basket. Uh, onion rings into the air fryer basket. Little shot of the non-stick cooking spray to expedite that frying action. Into the air fryer. The next air fryer basket along with some of those crinkle cut fries that I just promised you. There we go. And into the air fryer. I gotta be honest with you, the candied jalapenos, that chili, mesmerizing smell. We talked about uh, managing the griddle top there, you know, turning a burner or two off if you have to. Let's grab that chili over here. Slide it right over there, that's simmering away. I'm not the kind of person that enters cook-offs. I have no interest in it, but I tell you what, if there was a chili cook-off on my road tonight, I would go ahead and enter this. <laughs> See, the hot dogs looked absolutely perfect. These burners are off now. Again, the griddle top has a ton of heat. Those are gonna sit there, and I'm literally gonna roll those until I get the inside piping hot. Everything's moving along just fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the air fryer up to high. Just a little more heat since we have a lot of fries and onion rings in there. Here's a cool behind the scenes shot, huh? Shout out to Ken out in Pennsylvania if you're watching. Man, I still drink out of my Yeti all the time. Man, so many people gave me so many nice water bottles in the last year, and believe it or not, I do use them all. I literally rotate them like every other day at the house. So shout out to all the fine folks, all the great subscribers that gave me all these cool water bottles. I use them every week. Uh, Blackstone Van, Michael, uh, one of our photographers at Blackstone, just drove the tour van back to Utah. And so it's out there. We're waiting on a few things because I have to do some top secret stuff at Blackstone. But probably in the next couple of weeks, we're guessing maybe the next two weeks, three weeks hopefully, um, I'll be flying out to Utah, spending some time out there at HQ, doing some stuff, and bringing that van back here to Colorado. So stay tuned. I'm so excited about uh, all the cool places we're going to go with the Blackstone Adventure Ready van this summer. I'm not running a timer tonight. Let's do a status check on the onion rings. Hopefully you can hear that. They're actually cooking very nicely. And a status check on the fries. They're taking a little longer. I think they were frozen because they're more dense, they're thicker, and take a little bit longer. Everything's cooking away, so how about another behind the scenes? We'll show you one of my Blackstone treasure troves. Come on in. Let's head back over to the air fryer combo. So reminding you what's going on over here, these hot dogs are essentially on what outdoor cooks would call indirect heat. They look perfect, but they're just sitting there, continuing to stay hot. The outside is slowly getting more crispy. 
Oh man, look at that. See that garlic in there? Mmm. Those candied jalapenos. Now we can check everything out again. Onion rings, onion rings, onion rings. Let's grab one at random here. Take a bite right on camera. Almost, almost done. Within a couple of minutes of being done. Let's check out the fries. Oh, that hot. Oh, mama. Fries. Getting crispy on the outside. Inside still slightly cold. And I am definitely gonna get in there and steal another bite of that chili. Mm. I'm gonna do it off camera. Right there, it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna blow on it once or twice. Hold on. Oh yeah, here we go. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, folks, I wish you could taste this chili. Oh man, it's you know it's along the lines of a you know like a coney sauce a, or a Texas red, I guess. Um, but the sweetness, the you know it's got the garlic in there. It's got the garlic and the onions, that roasted garlic and the onions, um, or the fr or the uh, sautéed garlic and onions. But the addition of those candied jalapenos and the candied jalapeno sauce. All right, it's been a few minutes while I goofed around and ate some chili. I think the onion rings are perfect. Onion rings. Normally I'd put salt on these, but since the steakhouse seasoning is out here, a little bit of steakhouse on there, just to give a little bit of salt and a little bit of flavor on those onion rings. Walmart's always upping their bakery game. They have these brioche hot dog buns and Check this out. Come on, hot dog bun. They're split right down the center. So that's like a lifesaver when you're making hot dogs. Brioche hot dog buns down on the griddle to warm up. Check on those fries. Mmm. All right, hopefully you can see these. Let me grab a fork over here. And since we talked about the Parmesan ranch seasoning earlier, how about a little Parmesan ranch on the fries? Stuff goes really well with French fries and potatoes. The hot dog rolls look really nice, so we'll get those off the griddle. So this is gonna be my two hot dog special. Here we go, put those right inside those brioche buns. I do love that. Also, I think uh, the brioche is going to go really nice. The sweetness of the brioche being, you know, a high egg uh, bread is going to go really nice with the sweetness from those jalapenos. A hmm. couple of onion rings and some of those Parmesan ranch crinkle cut fries on the side. And last but not least, hopefully you can see this, some of my delicious sweet chili that's made with elk meat. Look at that. Mm. I gotta get inside and feed this to the rest of the family. You might hear my dog going nuts in the background. So chili dogs, Blackstone air fryer combo, french fries. Ooh, I forgot to do let's give it a try, but you know what? It's delicious. I ate a lot while we were doing this. Gotta feed the family. So thanks for watching everybody. Get over to Blackstone's social media and watch me there. And until next time, this is Todd and I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the chili dogs. Even though I didn't do it, let's give it a try on camera. I had to bring it back to say that is the best chili I have ever tasted. It's so sweet. And with that sweet toasted brioche bun, I'm telling you what, candied jalapenos in your Texas red chili. Put that on a hot dog. Wow. I'm, I'm serious. It's so good.